He is widely considered the founder of liberation theology. He was once scrutinized by the Vatican hierarchy, but now the doors are open. His name is Father Gustavo Gutierrez, an 86-year-old Peruvian theologian who led the controversial movement that ran across parts of Latin America in the 60s and 70s. Was I called to speak before the Vatican's Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith back then? Yes, I was. Was it a very critical conversation? Yes, but there was never a condemnation. According to the movement, it wasn't enough to sympathize with the needy. The church, it argued, needed to actively side with the poor and push for social and political changes. Critics said it was too closely aligned with Marxism. Decades have passed, and some of the misunderstandings of the movement have faded along with it. Just months ago, Cardinal Gerhard Müller, who heads the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith and who was appointed by Benedict XVI, presented a book along with Father Gutierrez. Theology can help by giving a clear vision to those who are concretely dedicated to the practice of justice and charity. The Vatican press conference was a way to shed light on the General Assembly of Caritas Internacionales, which is the main charity arm of the church. But the attention was on Gutierrez and whether his presence marked a shift in attitude. When asked if he would change his past writings, Gutierrez answered by posing a question of his own. I told the reporter, after being married for 20 years, could you write the same love letter to your wife, just like when you were dating? He said, no, I couldn't. I said, well, that's my case. This is exactly it. Delving into theology is like writing a love letter to God, my church, and my people. This is what theology is about. I wouldn't write the same things I did years ago, but the love is the same. He adds that when Pope Francis talks about helping the poor, it's not seen as a new theology, but simply as a way to live out the gospel.